Hey fellow agents, this is Agent Smith and we are playing Vampire Bloodline. So I'm inside Grout's mansion and the whole lobby and entranceway was full of Valkavians that were not in the mood to talk. They fucked me up just a little bit and it might be a bit of a challenge to get around. I'm going to replay this tape here so you can know what's going on. It is on. quite peculiar, the happenings I've been made to witness for my supernatural longevity. I am thinking of one unfortunate phenomenon in particular, of unique interest to my station, both as a professional and as a sufferer of this vampiric condition. It seems the stream of time has begun to erode the moorings of my chosen course of study, for the methodologies that gave birth to psychology are slowly disappearing. I find myself in an era that overlooks the physical component of psychological pathology time and again in favor of the sophistic practices of Freud. Phrenology, dactopintalism, and the rest of the old god has fallen by the wayside, its champions all silenced in death, with my unique exception. Would that I could make my voice heard again, although it may be suspicious should I return to popular medical discourse fifty years after my apparent death. No, better that I continue my studies into the psychoses in secret. One day, may I hold up my own cure as validation of the methods. I am confident no cure for my condition or that of my beloved wife lies within our figurative minds waiting to be unlocked by the correct combination of memories recovered from our childhoods. And I'm most certain it has nothing to do with the relationship between myself, my parents, and my genitals. Sorry, Sigmund, but I choose to stay my course. In time, too, may your star fade and disappear. There you go. So that's his first message I've found so far from him. Looks like this way is covered, but not too badly. And this door is locked, so I'll be coming out of that sometime point. Some point later. Should probably set myself up with appropriate weaponry to deal with this kind of crazy. I'm gonna try to avoid killing everybody, but I highly doubt that's gonna be an option, so. Can't unlock this one, huh? <laughs> huh. He's messing with that lever. I'm gonna have to deal with him. <laughs> oh wait, okay. One. Two. It turns them off, it doesn't turn them back on. Another unfortunate casualty to tide of time. Insane asylum. I lament their loss, not only as brokerage houses for the breadth and depth of human psychosis, but also I shall mourn the disappearance of that peculiar environment present only in an insane asylum. That palpable atmosphere of blistered brains and churning bowels, the odiferous melange of freely flowing bodily humors, that gently rolling cacophony of distant sobs and screams, the muttered cursing at perceived enemies, and the blissful gurgling of the lobotomized, like a newborn babe discovering the sky. Mm -hmm. I shall still find test subjects as surely as I find bloody sustenance in the night, but this climate, I fear, may never be replicated. So perception at once shapes the mind and rules over time. Time, however, erodes human perception, and then it turns war turn in turn warps the mind. The mind is capricious, having various effects on perception, time, and the mind itself. With harmony, progress is made. Perception. So it sounds like it goes. I'm at the. I wish. Never have a fucking pin in my office when I need one. There's one. There's an eye, there's a clock, and there's a brain. So it goes, and I'm going to put it as letters. Perception is the first thing he says. Mind, time, PMT, and then perception, mind, mind.
Now it goes perception, mind, time, time. Perception, mind, mind. Perception, time, mind. I'm gonna see if that works as a way to deal with this. I have a feeling. Oops. Put that away. Put that away. That has something to do with all this. There's also something to pick up there, which I don't know what that is. An unknown object. So let me pull these to turn it all off. There we go. So we got perception, mind. Well, I guess I just need to turn all three of them on. And that was considerably easier than I needed it to be. I'm sitting here writing it down like I was going to do it in a long sequential order of some kind. Go open up a door somewhere. I think it might be through here. Is this a hall? No, it's a staircase up to the next floor. Is it? Doesn't go anywhere. Okay. Maybe. It goes to a previous room I was in. Or I have to fiddle with that puzzle some more. Let's see what happens in the front room. There we go. I have to deal with them because they're all going to come for me after a minute. Come on close. I have to purge all of you. You want to get up? Not getting up, are you? Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright. That one's locked. This house is going to be a puzzle to figure out. All doors locked. So I guess we're going to work our way upstairs now. Unless these levers have something to do with it. Oh, look at that. A lever to the roof. Or the upstairs area, should I say. Which is good. Looks like nothing but knives from everyone. I wouldn't have noticed that. careful about using all of my stuff up. Might have to feed off the- oh shit. Yes, there we go. I was going to say I need to feed off of these vampires. Or whatever they are. Insane thralls. Because they don't seem to burn up, so there must be people. What do we have here? Often I reflect with great regret on the missed opportunity that was my infector. Had I been conscious after the attack, I could have stopped the orderlies from locking her in the roaming pen. What I would give for just one interview, a few simple questions of the plague-ridden woman who met her end that dawn. And of course, there is no guarantee she would have been any more helpful than my current crop of test subjects, mewling wretches. Few could be called enthusiastic. Given the nature of the tests, I cannot expect the same fervor from all, but a modicum of cooperation would be appreciated. Hmm. Animals. The one called John went so far as to gnaw off his arm and escape into the floorboards like some feral rodent. I still hear him scurrying about at night. He must be making an atrocious mess in there. There's another one down below before we go into the next room. Let's see what this one says. My studies proceed at a languid pace. I'm mired in a foul ennui as my wife's illness advances. My subjects grow restless without proper supervision, but I cannot pull myself back from this black depression. How many nights I've wasted now, gazing from the tower walk, pondering the frailty of existence. Well, thank goodness that one wasn't a very long one. <laughs> All right. Looks like we're making our way up. Ooh, dizzifying. Oh, 
onto the roof of the parapet walk. Beautiful view of the city and the hills. Too bad you can't see the Hollywood sign up here. And down the other side. Hello, lady. I just feed off all of you. It makes it so much easier for me. Guarantees that I'm going to have a full health, full supply of blood. And I can do it with these guys. Ooh, boy, it is dark in these walls. Crazy one is. <laughs> All right, so back from this point of view, where we came into the room, take a look. This takes me back here. Which is good. Which means this other one must do the same. So we got a full circle here. This one should take me back to the. Oh no, it's a little lobby room. Oh shit. Bitch. And there's two more over there, which means this room is definitely not what it seems. After decades of solitary study into this affliction, I have learned that it is by no means mine alone. Indeed, the city is home to an entire society of similarly afflicted individuals with whom I've only recently made contact. They are an understandably standoffish sort, by and large, but I have been able to confirm with them that the condition is indeed vampirism, which apparently comes in a multitude of strains, each with a spectacular set of symptoms such as invisibility and mm -hmm. even a sort of lycanthropy. Through numerous official interactions with the governing body of this secret society, I have concluded that their fundamental understanding of the vampiric condition is woefully lacking and mired in suspicion and pseudo-religious dogma that would make a tough boss for restriction. Indeed, they seemed impressed with my studies and the eloquence with which I was able to present them, Apparently, the typical sufferer of my particular strain of vampirism is far from the vanguard of the king's English. So impressed were they that they even offered me an office in their government, a rather high office by the sound of things, I believe I shall accept. If nothing else, it should provide a lofty vantage point from which to observe the breadth and epidemiology of the affliction so that I may move more expeditiously toward a cure. Okie doke. I want to check this door real quick before I move forward. I'm pretty sure it's locked, but I just had to—I just had to look. I had to see. This is really sealed, actually. Before I got going too far into this space, I figured this is the right way to go. But you know, when you find secrets like this, it's like, uh, was this what I was supposed to find this early on? So. It upstairs again. I'm sure we'll end up in this freaking library some more at some point here. And there it is. Just as I figured. Oh, look at that. Now we can get back and forth from the staircase. Huh. Is there more information to be heard? Book. Investigate this book. There we go. I have accepted the role of Primogen. Chaos like the mind can be Mount understood Kavian. only through the scientific the process order, however, is only as good as a perception, therefore time is the key so that makes the two bears witness to the vampire father figure of old, more poppycock grown from a backward culture that seems interminably drawn to children's tales in the fiction of Victorian romance, when it should concern itself with the science behind their suffering. No matter. 
for I have taken this office for no greater reason than to advance my research. I must make mention, however, that even among my would-be peers in this governing body of vampires, the level of paranoia and superstition is frightening. Their intelligence is not the question, no, oh, indeed. As they courted me for this appointment, I had to suspect that their overtures were hand-tailored to what must be my obvious infatuation with reason, for the devil would do well to have such honey-tongued tempters. Even so, I could not help but notice the dressing of language these vampire leaders chose for their siren song. Whether it is born of habit, from addressing their unwashed, ill-educated subjects, or from their own deep-seated beliefs, their linguistic flourishes belie a faith in superstition over the providence of empirical reason that must be an all-pervasive theme in this society of darkest night. Damn it all, now I'm doing it too. <laughs> well now, I'm not sure what that switch was up there for, it went away. Must have had something to do with this. Maybe a faster way than figuring out the puzzle. That's all right. What have we got here? I opened one. I think I can safely walk by certain ways. Yes. Got another piece of unknown material. Open this one. Making it a little bit easier. And this one. Switch them all to open. Open, 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 open. Open. I believe that's all of them. Not sure the purpose of switching them all that way. Might be a puzzle of something a little bit later to fiddle with. This vampire did not make it though, but we'll pa pass through this room and see what's in here. Oh, where'd that unlock? I think that was the door in the green room. I wasn't able to reach before. Inner sanctum. <laughs> well, we'll find Grout soon enough. I wonder why he didn't want us in there. Nines' adamacy that we shouldn't be here is kind of concerning. Oh, look at that. There we go. Passing me through this room to the green room. The red room. That's what I meant to say. And this leads over to the green room, there we go, which will lead me across to this door, which should be unlocked now. No. Where did that open? Hmm. Did it open me directly across to this? I think so. Yes, to his inner sanctum. Still missing a door, but that's all right. I'll take this. One of them was locked. Maybe it'll lead to something later, but we'll see. As I expand my dealings with the vampire government, I have encountered a disturbing new symptom of this affliction. Frequently, in conversation, I will hear voices emanating from other vampires. Voices that are not their own, but which seem to have insight into their lives beyond what I could gather from simple conversation. These voices seem to echo from deep within my fellow vampires, and I cannot be certain if this symptom belongs to my strain of illness or theirs. The voices are delirious and inconsistent. I dare not mention this symptom to my vampiric peers, for they have proven themselves true predators to whom I could be loath to reveal any sign of weakness. Indeed, these voices have counseled me against confessing their presence, and until I can confirm their source, I will listen. The Delicious information the voices have given me ranges from curious to frightening. 
The latter case is especially true of one powerful vampire whose name I shall not commit to recording in the interest of self-preservation. Oh shit, I thought I got the other one. She gonna get me before I finish her? No, perfect timing. Get away from her. Boom, bitch. I thought I killed her. Alright. I got a lot of Elder Vitae. Some blood from Elders. Let's see what this downstairs door goes to real quick. Or room, should I say. Uh, something. I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. Got sparkles. They got sparkles down there. <laughs> Let's get under here and see what I might have missed. A key for the laboratory refrigerator. Well, I picked that lock with my skills, but thank you for the key to have in my inventory just for the need of it. There we go. All those doors are barred, so I guess we are headed down this way. Find out where this guy is and what's going on with him. I think he's lost his mind, obviously, but, uh, like, I think his, his insane asylum is full of crazies that have lost their minds as well. Play, huh? I was gonna feed off of you, but he doesn't want to play around like that. Hmm. More locks to pick. My skills are pretty decent, so I wouldn't need much for bud buffing on these. What is this? The mind is a maze, and mazes inspire minds. In the labyrinth beyond this door, reactions of test subjects to the weirdest. Uh, the, re the reactions of test subjects to the weirdest environments can be studied easily with a vampiric invisibility power of mine. Hmm. Well, we'll take all that we can. Ammo is full. Hmm. Okay. Before I go deeper into this, let me double check these other rooms. Morphine. Morphine and riddles. Where he's keeping all his crazies. I'm guessing there's got to be at least one in here. Oh, shit. That was spooky. Oh, feed. There you go. She's weak enough that I can get her. Gotta fix all this uh, aggravated damage they put on me. Before I go deeper into the maze, I'm gonna check these rooms. Check these rooms for anything of value. It may be crazy, but it doesn't mean they don't have stuff in here. Morphine is valuable. Huh, secret door. What's behind secret door number one? A way to look down upon everyone. Hmm. Doesn't help me much. But it might get me across this facility. 
What other secret door? How did I not notice that? That's insane. <laughs> we'll go full circle real quick just to make sure there's nothing else of interest around here. I think this door is locked until I clear a maze, but apparently I'm wrong. Rats to eat if necessary. Oh shit, where the hell is he from? Is he invisible? Nothing. A dead end, I believe. I'll take a look at my screen. Looks like it's a dead end. Oh, I'm gonna have to get into first person mode so I can see better. <laughs> Platforming segment. Hey, hey. The voices have increased in frequency and direction. They have begun to stay with me long as the conversation has ceased and are serving as quite a distraction. I fear others are beginning to notice my, my preoccupation at the vampire gatherings. I am thinking again of the particular vampire of whom I spoke previously, who I dare not name for my growing fear. If the voices are to be believed, then my caution is warranted, for they speak of his blackest crimes, both past and future. More than once, I have seen the suspicion in his eyes and heard the distrust in his voice when speaking with me. The fear must register on my face, as it is all I can do in these moments to keep from crying out in chorus with the voices. Hmm. What is up here? I am no longer safe. I know it. Oops. <laughs> I don't know why I just went. Should have read the door before I opened it. Mm, crap. Well, at least I saved right before then. If it goes into a sequence, I can jump back out of it because I do not want to jump into a sequence. Back up a little bit. I chose to go into the maze real quick. I haven't quite got back to where we were before, but I'm gonna go check this out for, for see what it's all about. Drop through. Thank you. Exactly sure what the purpose of the maze is, but we'll keep dropping through. out that way. This base is kind of cool. Oh, come on. I don't think I've ever been through this before. I don't think I've ever been able to get into it. Holy crap. Oh shit, oh shit. To false sunlight. Unlocks that door in the grass. And then 
watch some vampires in. Got my driver's li driver's license of some kind. These orderlies are nuts, huh? Interesting. Found a driver's license, found another way to another room in this space. Had to deal with some sunlight, but that was alright. Let's see what that other room has in it. <laughs> Not the room I thought it was. Upside down. Then. Okay. <laughs> I think it was this one at the end. Oh, what was it? Where was it? There it is. Open up the garden doors. Do another part of the house. With this mannequins everywhere. Not creepy at all, buddy. not creepy at all. This house looks familiar. What is this? A clock. <laughs> They're coming. Yeah, I'd say they are. I don't have a purpose to this yet. I think I have to come back here for another reason. Oh, Jesus. That caught me off guard. The mannequins being behind the door. Hello. You're giving me the chills. I don't like it. Are we locked in? Now can I leave? Oh, that was creepy. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> okay. So anyway, what is that room? Oh, that's right, we already went through that. Back up the way I came. I'm not getting out this way either. Oh crap, I think I'm stuck down here. I didn't even think about that. I might actually be stuck. Oh shit, okay. Stop doing that. Mother shan't be too pleased. Mother too pleased. That is giving me mad chills. Oh, is it open and close? <laughs> I need a feed. This maze might have been a bit of a mistake for me to get into right now. up. 
goes into a church. Another body. Document. Newspaper. Famous doctor dies in accident. 28 February 1915. The unrecognizable corpse of renowned shrink Dr. Alastair Grout was found in his burning car as it crashed in the Hollywood Hills today. Okay. So. He's a well-known doctor. Died. Moving up. Hopefully this will get me back to everything else. Oh my goodness. Please put me back in the regular house. It's interesting information. It gave me the fucking chills. It bypassed that area. I am no longer safe. I know it. Yes. The voices have proven themselves authentic. How and perfect was that? An alternate route to the same thing we had gone to. Entirely. My absence will no doubt draw attention, but I could no longer hold my fragile composure around the ravenous eyes of my vampire peers. Especially not around him. The voices compelled me to make what I fear is a Faustian bargain, but I had to, for their demands are constant and merciless. I have secluded myself within the mansion. I know he will strike out at me. He will go to any length to achieve his ambitions, and he knows that I know. I have taken precautions to protect my beloved wife. The cure will have to wait until our immediate safety is guaranteed. The mansion was constructed with security in mind, but at that time I was not privy to the full range of vampire capabilities. The voices echo in the twisted corridors of my psyche, dark whisperings of a macabre and formless menace, the approach of which portends an end, an end to all of this. So, it gave you two alternatives. That door that I went through and thought it was a mistake, like I was going into something I should have, and I went too far back, and that's I thought I was at the end of the stairs, was actually an alternative. You take the maze, you come through there and avoid a lot of conflict. You take the regular route, you come up through here, but either way, you end up here. Now, to correct things for myself, I'm gonna go clear out the rest, and then we're gonna go through that door. Alright, having cleansed the asylum of everything ex uh, except for rats, <laughs> let's go ahead and head on in. got her suspended like a an animation like a like a doll too what is that about um well playing the music open that door I guess yeah sure did please don't let anyone come out of that door having cleared everything there is and found his wife here frozen in time like this I think it's gonna be best for me to stop at this point I hope that you guys have been enjoying this, and we'll find out what has gone on with um, the with Grout himself in the next one. This this episode has already run considerably long uh, to show off the possible routes that you could use to get through here. So <laughs> hopefully those will help you. We got to this point, like I said, and like I said, I think it's best that we hold off into the next one before we continue on because I have a feeling there's going to be quite a bit to go. So hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you to find out the fate of Grout in the next episode. Have a great day. Hey fellow Asians, don't forget to like and subscribe by clicking the button in the center of the screen. You can also find the last video by clicking the button to the left, and you can take a look at some of the other stuff I've done by clicking the button to the right. Hope you enjoyed the video, and have a good day.